In this video, we're going to look at some brand new features for Microsoft Whiteboard Online. Let's dig in. So first, you're going to want to navigate to office.com and you're going to look for the Whiteboard app. If you do not see it in the list at the left, we're going to go ahead and click All Apps. Then we're going to scroll down because it's alphabetical and you should find Whiteboard at the bottom of the list here. Let's get into it. So again, these features are for Whiteboard Online. Uh, as you know, there's also a Whiteboard desktop app. So this doesn't apply to the desktop app. It applies to Microsoft Whiteboard in the browser or during a Teams meeting. All right, so here we go. Let's start a new whiteboard. And the first thing you're going to notice when whiteboard loads is the, the interface has been updated. So we still have our toolbar up here for our stylus and our eraser. However, we now have um, our editing tools and some more tools over here at the left. So uh, one is the mouse pointer or the select button because sometimes we need to go from being in draw mode to being in select mode. So that's right there. The next button here is inking. So this basically reveals and hides your inking tools. And then the last one here is create. And so this is where you're gonna find the new features here of Whiteboard. So the first feature I wanna share with you is notes. When you click on notes now to add a sticky note, you have the option of a single note, but now you can select a color first. You also have note grids. If you know you're going to be using several notes, you can click a grid and a color and have those click on the page and those will pop right into your page. And as always, you can zoom in and out of your objects. And so here we can begin typing on our note grid. We can add more notes here if we need to add more uh, and, and work with that. Okay, now the next new feature is, uh, now we've always, we've always had text, that doesn't change. You can add text, text boxes. Shapes hasn't changed, that's, that's uh, been there. Reactions, this is new. So now I can click Reactions as a way of giving someone feedback or, or you know, interacting and engaging and collaborating. So if someone has a note here on the page and they shared a thought, right? So here's a quick post written by someone in the classroom, for example. We can now uh, go to our reactions and we can select from one of these reactions here. So if I agree with this, uh, maybe I want to give it a thumbs up uh, or, or an applause or a happy face. If I have a question about it, maybe I put a question mark. If I disagree with it, I could put the X. If I agree with it, I could put the check mark. And so I can select this. I can then click on the page to add my check mark. And then I can drag and drop it right on the, the post-it note there. So a nice way to now provide feedback within your whiteboards. All right, the next new tool is images. We can now insert images into our online whiteboards. Now this doesn't search images online yet, but you'll see you can go here and navigate your uh, local drive and you can upload images right into the whiteboard. All right, and then the third new feature here is templates. And this is the most exciting one, folks. You're going to love this, I think. So when you click on templates, you have all of these categories. So brainstorming, problem solving, design and research, strategy, project pl planning. So these are great you know, for teams you're working with uh, and you want to plan and do some strategic work. Uh, there's a fun one here uh, on the ret retrospective, right? You, this is a great way to reflect um, after experiencing something together. So we have things like the four L's. 
and we can click on the template and then I can click onto my whiteboard to drop it in place. And then of course we can zoom into this and take a closer look. So what we have here is the four L's, what, what I liked, what I learned, what I lacked, and what I longed for. And of course you can click into these and change the headings to anything you'd like. So these are nice for uh, some reflective activities. We also have Mad Sad Glad, uh, we have Rose Thorn Bud, Start Stop Continue. So great, great uh, templates that you can use with your team or in the classroom with students. And students can use them with each other when they work in groups or teams. We also have games. Games is kind of fun. These are great for those icebreaker activities, right? So we have um, choose your favorite and then we have the two truths, one lie template. This is always a fun one. The two truths and one lie where you have each person write two truths about themselves and one lie. And then we go in and try to figure out which of the three is the lie. And so we can go in here and we can uh, type the name. If this is my entry, I'm just going to go ahead and put my name on it. And then I can, on these post-it notes, I can type my three uh, items. And then down here you can see is where folks can go using the reactions. They can go and vote and, and, and try to figure out which of these three is the lie. So. Um, Another great uh, uh, template there to use. Now, what about in the classroom for teaching and learning? We have a learning category now. So check this out. We can go in here. We have a brainstorming template. We have compare and contrast. This is something we've been waiting for. So we now have a nice compare and contrast template where we can add our subjects here. We can simply click in here and retype them. Uh, and then the students can go in, add a post-it note, type their thought on it, and everyone can um, respond. And then, of course, we can move these around. Maybe we decide this one belongs in the middle. We can move these ideas around our uh, template here. We also have the exit ticket great for using with students to check for understanding at the end of a lesson. So we can drop this guy in and let's take a look. We've got things I learned today, things I found interesting, things I still have questions about. And the students can go in here and drop a post-it note in each field. So this is really exciting, you guys. These templates have grown. They've expanded, especially for teaching and learning, right? We have the KWL chart here. There's even a lesson planner if you want to build out a lesson plan. So really cool templates, loving this, loving the uh, image insertion and the reactions. Also, as a reminder, to share your whiteboard with your team or your students so that they can get in and engage with your activities. You're going to go up here to the top right to the share icon. And if share link is off, you're just going to go ahead and turn that on. And then you can copy the link and paste this link wherever you need to send it out so that everyone can get into your whiteboard. So check this out today, guys. This is whiteboard online it's also like this if you're teaching online and you're using it in a teams meeting hope you enjoy this and hope you enjoy microsoft whiteboard